call this thing the beast. It's an ugly shit. It doesn't love you. It doesn't care about you. My name's Leslie Morrison. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before or you've followed me on Facebook, you'll know I'm a personal trainer, nutrition coach, mindset coach. Um, and really, I'm just trying to get out there some helpful, useful information, exercises, activities that you can do at home on your own to actually help you achieve your health and fitness goals. So, Today, um, I wanted to talk to you about something quite bizarre actually. This is a, um, a technique that I was reading about recently, used or developed by um, a psychologist. Now, I've kind of changed it slightly so it fits in with things like weight loss and things like that rather than just um, you know, psychological issues, stress and things like that. But obviously all of these things... Um, interlink they all kind of become the same thing the same problem they all become something that's in your head so we're going to look today at something called the beast i've called it the beast uh and, and it basically links back to binge eating so not being able to control your um your urges to eat treats and foods that won't support your weight loss goals so the method itself um i'm going to describe and go through with you. I'm going to do the video in two parts. So the first part is obviously me here. Hey! The second part is um, like a bit of a cartoon. So we're going to do like almost like a meditation but not a meditation. So you'll see what I mean when you get there. It's kind of a visualization tool but it's quite an unorthodox method so it may seem a little bit odd to you when you first hear it um, but it's a very effective way to uh, to overcome these binge eating episodes that you might have. I've tried it with um, a few clients and it's been really successful with them. And it's a really, really simple thing. So it's, it's almost childlike actually. You, you, it's, it's, it's a trick of the mind. But like I say, it's been tried and tested with many, many people by the, the guy that's developed the overall kind of method and I've tried and tested it with some of my clients so it does work um, and if things work bloody use them yeah so you're gonna kind of basically try and detach yourself from your fat thinking self okay so we're naming this the beast um, and I want you to try and imagine that you know, there is something inside of you, a little beast, a little a little bugger that basically he only, or she only, lives to, for the next bite, for the next binge, for the next bit of food, for the next whatever it needs, the next cake, chocolate bar, bag of crisps, whatever. Um, and this beast, this, this beast isn't cute. This is quite cute. This beast isn't, though. This beast that's inside here, inside here is not cute it's a bloody ugly disgusting thing okay but he doesn't or it doesn't care about you it doesn't care about how you feel it doesn't care about your health your happiness your body your your emotions it doesn't give a damn if you feel sad or lonely or frustrated or stressed or all of these things all it gives a shit about is the next bite of shit food okay so i'm gonna swear i'm gonna be real with you today i'm gonna swear um it, all it wants is that bad trashy food that's going to make you feel guilty, it's going to make you feel bad, it's going to make you feel like you've let yourself down again. So it's going to encroach and, and bring on and strengthen all of those negative emotions that you've got going on with your relationship with food and your relationship with your body. So, um, like I say, we're going to call this thing the beast. It's an ugly shit. It doesn't love you, it doesn't care about you, so why should you care about it, Yeah. Um, it's a bully, it's selfish, it's mean, thoughtless, you know, you, you think back to school, if you were ever bullied at school, think about how you used to feel about those bullies, you, was, you were a bit intimidated of them, yeah? Don't be, don't be intimidated by this beast, just rise up, this is what we're going to try and do today. So your pain and your unhappiness fuels this beast, okay, this, this beast is only ever happy when you feel guilty or sad or like you've let yourself down. So... 
you're the only person that can catch it, cage it and dominate it. So this is what we're going to try and do during the cartoon episode of this video. So stick with me because it's getting going to get a bit weird, okay? Um, the Beast, as I've said, only this little character, by the way, this is something that one of my friends at school used to draw and it was the only thing I could think of because I'm not very good at drawing. So here you have what we used to call at school fuzz. But this beast, um, it only survives in you to binge. It only cares for its next bite and it will do anything, anything at all to make you go for that next bite, okay? To, to, to come to its desires, not your desires. Okay, so we're going to move on um, to the cartoon shortly to the visualization episode but i just want you to think for a moment all of the wonderful things that this beast has stopped you from doing stopped you from achieving all of the confidence that you could have had or you could have if it wasn't for this creature if it wasn't for this beast all of the great you know experiences all of the great times all of the thoughts all of the experiences that you might have been having if this wasn't there. So, you know, this list is endless. You think of everything that this behaviour, this, this beast is affecting, you know, your relationships, your, your happiness, your emotions, your even your holidays, days out, nights out, the clothes that you wear, um, the job that you have or the promotion that you didn't get. There's so many things, your, 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 your happiness, your choices, your dreams, your life. Okay, and it's all been limited by this ugly food craving selfish beast. All right, so let's move on to the second part of the video. Um, like I say, it's a visualization, so I'm going to disappear um, and you're going to get the beast. See you in a minute. Bye. I want you to imagine that you could hear the beasts whining um, and separate it from your own thoughts. And I want you to try and physically hear this and see this within your mind because you need to recognize that the beast is not you. The beast's desires are not your desires. The beast's whining and groaning is not your whining and groaning okay you need to separate yourself from the beast now what if you could separate yourself from the beast and hear all of their whines all of its groans but choose to ignore them turn your back on this food craving bully and starve the beast of what it wants you could take back control of your life your choices your body your health everything that i mentioned you could shut the beast up because the beast is not you okay it's not your whining detach yourself and see it as something separate all you have to do is hear it believe in the beast believe that it's in there believe it exists believe that you can hear it whinging and whining and when you hear it just tell it to shut up the beast is not you the beast only thinks of food. It's not you. The beast is in your control, not the other way around. So I want you to visualize the beast, see it pacing, breathing deeply, drooling in anticipation of the next binge. See how repulsive it is, how ugly, how disgusting. That's not you. Now I want you to visualize a cage Big enough to house the beast, secure enough to contain it and keep it in. The beast has been ruining your life, your happiness, your body, your health. Feel real anger towards it, feel hatred, feel pain towards it. Now visualize placing the beast in the cage and lock it in. Take a look back at this horrid, horrid beast that has taken so much away from you. Hear its whines, recognize them. Listen as you turn your back and confidently walk away. Start to allow the beast to fade into darkness. 
You can still hear it's whining, but you know it's the beast, not you. Turn back one more time as you project clearly and confidently, shut up, you are not me. Turn and allow the beast to fade completely. You can no longer hear the beast, nor can you see it, but with absolute confidence and certainty, you know it's locked away where it can no longer hurt you. The beast is no longer in control. It still exists, it's still there, but you've quiet, quietened it. You have dominated it. You have beaten it. Now the beast's whines will re-emerge, but you now have the strength to shut it up. You have the confidence to ignore it. And you know that those whines are not yours. It's not your desire. What it's whining for is not you. The act of visualising the beast strengthens the existence of it, but also strengthens the knowledge that it is not you. It is separate to you, a different being just inside of you. But you are in control. Now I recommend that you visualise your GNU, caged beast, on a daily basis to begin with. Making the confirmation of, its, of your control stronger and stronger each time you do. But what happens if you succumb? What happens if the beast's whines become so loud that you give in? It's fine. It's not a problem. You just go back to the beginning. You see the beast, you see the cage, you lock it inside and you visualize each step as you did before. The beast is not you. It's just a bully from a less evolved part of your brain. And by separating yourself from this food craving bully, you can gain everything that it has taken away from you until now. Your confidence, your health, your happiness, the relationships you want, the clothes you want to wear, the holidays you want to have, the health, the body that you want, everything. Because that beast is not you. And because you are in control. Okay, so hopefully that all makes complete sense to you. And I know it's a little bit strange, a little bit bizarre, very unorthodox. But as I say, it does really, really work. So go away and try the visualization exercise. Try and visualize that beast inside of you, moaning, whining, whinging, and, and detach yourself from it. Cage it and dominate it and take control back from the beast. Take control of your life. Take control of your binge eating. Take control of everything and gain all of those things that you want, you know, your health, your body, everything. And suddenly, hopefully, you will find that you are able to shut the beast up, not succumb, and, and find yourself eating a much, much better diet without all of the binges, okay? So I hope it helps. And please, you know, if you have found this video helpful or useful, please press the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel, come and like me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all the links are in the description below. Um, and if you've got any comments or feedback, please, please, please let me know because I always love to hear how my videos help you. Alright, so until the next time, take care, bye! Thanks for watching the video, really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit and listen to me blab on about stuff. Um, if you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos that I've done about weight loss, about mindset, exercise, fitness in general. And also, check out some newer videos. So you've got a, an exercise and a recipe. So check them out whilst you're here as well. One more quick thing. Social media, come and follow me. You've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the website. Make sure you come, make sure you interact and please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Take care and until the next video, see you soon.